Another quick one here on these ignition cylinders. So even after you've drilled it out, you still got to deal with this little button doodle. So it took me a while to get this, you know, my first one handled, but it's real nice to be able to just see the darn thing. If you look down, ooh, focus, focus. In that crack there, you see there's actually a little track that this will travel within. And you see how that track ends right up there, right by that point? So this comes back and this stops it, you see? And you can just see that little brass pin down. Yeah, there, she's shining. And so the way to get through here, even after you drilled it out, you're still going to have to do this. And uh, like that, you poke that little guy in there, you know? And so once you've got that, that's that point with these or any, where I had to fight it a little bit there. <laughs> but you're past it, right? Do whatever, and then reinstall it. See, it drops in, and then you're locked. And these are all your normal ignition positions now. So that's, uh, you know, the real key there is that little brass tumbler guy and that light push. And that's why a pick is enough to make this actuate and, and pull these ignition cylinders out. But like I say, just helped me a lot to uh, be able to actually visualize the thing. So that's a very focused view on what this little pull does.